Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. I'm going to try another attempt at a ribbon pour. So I have made up some paints, which is brilliant red, medium yellow, white and orange. See how this goes. So I'm doing it on a small canvas, um, a square canvas. I think I'll have a little bit better luck using a square than um, a rectangle. Because I don't actually have very many round canvases, which I do need to get hold of. So my paints are Montmartre, mixed with one part paint to two parts Australian Floetrol. So um, 15 grams paint, 30 grams Floetrol. So that is what I plan to do. I'm going to layer them in this and I'm going to try and do a ring pour and then do some ribbons over that. Um, I'm doing it this way on the small canvas because I need a little bit more practice with doing ribbons. I haven't, um, I, I think it's something that you need to do at practice to learn how to do it the right way. Knowing my luck, I'll do it on a small canvas and it will turn out brilliant. I'll do it on a big canvas and I will make mistakes, but <laughs> that's what that's what often happens so I'm going to go two layers so I'm going to go a bit of yellow the bottom layer will always be smaller amount of paint than the top layer then I'm going to go some orange then I am going to do some red Then I'm going to do a little bit of white. I know white might give me some pink, but I uh, wasn't really too sure where else to put the white. So I'm going to pour the rest of the yellow in. So you want the paint to be a little bit thicker than you normally would, being um, this type of pour. So it's probably, a, um, it looks like it's probably a similar thickness to a flip cup. Maybe a little bit runnier, but it's definitely not as runny as... Um, some of my other pores, like a swipe or something. And remember, this is this is just a fun little test piece to see if I can, because I have done some ribbons before, but the colours I used didn't show it very well. So I'm hoping that these ones here you can actually, you should be able to see quite, quite well. That is the plan. And the better I get at this, then I feel like I can use a bigger canvas and do a better job. Okay, now I am going to pour, oh, I was going to pour out the same side, but that's where the crease is. I don't know if that's going to bend. It's not going to bend there very well, so I'm going to have to actually bend over this side. So here we go. I'm just doing a straight pour until the second colour comes out. And then when I start seeing the second colour, I'll start doing rings. Not staying in the middle of the canvas too well, am I?
Sorry if I go quiet. That is me concentrating. Better put some gloves on. Last thing I want is paint all over my hands. So those rings will become more noticeable as I stretch it out. It looks like the second white or the lower, the first color that white that went into the cup kind of vanished a little bit. Oops. Luckily the holes in the back, not in the front. I'm just going to swirl it around. It's going to go off some corners. Dab a little bit on the corner. Try and use a similar colour to what is already there. Okay. So that's looking alright. I'm going to get the gloves off now. Because I think I can do the ribbon without the gloves easier. So I want to kind of just do a couple of little swirls with it. I believe I need one more to cross over this way. So I think I'm just going to do a little arch. So, that's actually not too bad. Um, just going to give it a slight little quick torch. So, what I wasn't as happy with at the beginning was my centre. The rings turned out quite nice, but that centre got a little bit messed up. So I tried to make my um, ribbons kind of hide that a little bit. So it's not as noticeable because you know, the ribbons kind of distract you from it. The ribbons are looking quite good. Um, I may have made it slightly heavy in that spot. But that's what I mean by practice. Um, but I, I think I've actually got it to work quite well. So... The only difference is, because my ribbons are very similar in colour to the actual paw, um, it still looks good, but I think a little bit more of a contrasting colour would have been probably cooler. Um, would have been good if there was a bit more white in the actual ribbons, so it wasn't just 
really looking yellow and red. If I had a bit of white going through the ribbons, I think that would have looked pretty cool. But I am pleased that I have actually been able to get, get one done. And being a test, this is perfect. This is how we learn. So, and just because you've done it once and it worked out well, don't think that it's going to do the same thing every time you do one. So, as we know, we can do a good pour one day and another day the paint just wants to misbehave on us. But I'm pleased. I am really pleased with this. The ribbons stand out. It's not an overly fancy canvas. It's really small. I just wanted to do something that gave me the opportunity to practice it without using up too much paint, too much um, of an expensive canvas. These canvases are relatively cheap. Um, I think they cost me about a dollar, dollar fifty maybe for a little for a little canvas, which is quite good as a, a nice little test canvas. The paint probably costs me more. But this was fun, good to do it. So my ribbons have worked and I don't think I had enough paint in there to alter my ribbons. But if you go fast, you get thinner lines. And then when you slow down, your lines kind of get a little bit wider. So you can kind of change the pattern of your ribbons. So I've ordered some more paint tonight because I am... I needed a few more colours. I needed um, just something a little bit different. I was disappointed they didn't have any phalo green left because that's probably the main colour I want more than anything. But I've ordered some more purples, I think a couple of blues, um, and some... Um, they're not really magentas. They're kind of in between magenta and purple. Kind of like plummy colours, so... That's going to be a lot more fun to actually get, get into once it, um, they turn up. Which shouldn't be too long. This is cool. I'm happy with this. I am probably going to do a few more on the small canvases before I move on to a big one. But as in saying that, I may end up doing a big one next. Um, I do what I feel like. That's how I, how I roll. If I get home from work and I've had a very full-on day and I don't feel, feel like thinking too much, I do something that I'm familiar with. If I feel like challenging myself for the evening, I'll do something that is a bit more challenging, something I'm not used to or comfortable with. And that's the, the fun of it. So I'm going to bring you down for a bit of a close-up. And then this is this pour done. I do hope you like it. Um, it's a bit more bright. I haven't done so many bright ones lately. All right, back soon. And there we go. Cool, so I would like to thank um, my friend Chris Jessek. I think that's how I pronounce her name. Um, I watch her videos and this is, she's been teach, well, by watching her videos, I've been learning how to do the ribbons a little bit better. Um, and she did actually send me some messages when I did my last one, which didn't work out at all and gave me some tips. So that was really great. Thank you so, so much for doing that for me. So now I'm able to do something that I feel I'm a bit more pleased with. And I hope you guys like it too. So let's come down and have a look at how some of these ribbons are going. So see how they're, they're nice, defined. The only thing is I feel like if there was a bit of white in it, it would have just added probably that bit more interest. The white kind of vanished in this painting. You only see little bits in the rings over here and over here. And a lot of the white kind of vanished. But that was the middle center that I was kind of hiding. See how the, the rings lost its shape at the, the last bit? And I think the ribbons actually have distracted from that. So this is it, ribbon pour. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. So comment, like, um, share my videos and subscribe. That would be really great. Have a good evening, everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow for another pour. Bye.